talk to me about how hard it's been having gone on the highs that you went on earlier in the season and then to deal with what's happened over the last eight or nine games. Yeah, no, we were winning games, but I, I still don't think we were playing very structured. We weren't playing the right way. And I, like when you played on teams that win, uh, you understand that you got to play the right way. Uh, so we were fluking out, I think, getting wins. But like uh, you look at the structures of other teams and what's so, they play as five-man units, and we really got to get back to that. And that, that starts everyone getting back in practice and doing the little things. If you're not doing the little things, you're not going to get better. And uh, especially down the stretch, you see these big clubs and whatnot. They're getting better and better, and that, that's something that's catching up with us. And uh, I think we've, like, we've had a few bad injuries and whatnot, but it's not an excuse. But we got to find a way to get better and generally find ways to get wins because right now we're, uh, we're not doing that. And especially within conference. You look at the games you've got left, majority are going to be Gardner Conference games. Why has it been relatively tough or seemingly even tougher against the, the Gardner teams rather than the cross-conference games? I don't know. I, I, I guess teams, uh, I think coming over here, playing my first year in Europe, really, uh, every game's a big game. North America, you got a lot more games, so you can get away with playing a little uh, little loose on like losing one game. But here, every game matters. Those points are huge. And uh, we, we've struggled. We really have. And uh, I think for us, maybe this is the hump, but we gotta, we got to come back, work our tail off come Tuesday, and be ready for a good week of practice because... Every team's getting better, like I said, and if we if we don't do that, we're not going to be successful. It, it starts it starts way before the games. And is that something that you're adjusting to as a group as well? Then, if you're talking about how you need to prepare for games, are you better prepared now than maybe you were earlier in the season? Yeah, no, you, we're we're making changes, but what's so? It's uh, there's been a lot of like uh, a lot of rough patches for us here. You know, like uh, Emerson's a new coach. What's so? He's a first year, still feeling it out a little bit. But he's done a great job as much as he can. Uh, it's on the players, though, that, to make things happen. Uh, bad times happen. It's how, you, it's how you handle it, you know? Mm. Everyone goes through adversity, and uh, I think tonight was a big step for us to figure out a way to kind of rebound as a team, especially coming back in that game. You know, like mm. uh, we, a lot of times this year we've been down, and then, like, it, the floodgates have opened. Tonight we found a way to capitalize, and honestly, our power play was, cl was cl uh, clutch tonight. That's... Uh, that's going to win you a lot of games if you're good on the power play and special teams. And are you enjoying it? You're saying it's your first experience. Enjoy or endure? Uh, well, it's uh, no one enjoys losing. I've been lucky enough to play on a lot of winning teams, so this is kind of new for me going through this. But it's, it's something it's, uh, I'm just taking it as a challenge. You know, it's, it's learn to go through adversity and try to find a way to get better. Uh, look for the positives as I can. And uh, I think for us, this is a big win. Now we got to move forward and get, have a good week in the gym get better at practice, and that, that's the first step. I'm just worried one day at a time.